Hi everyone uh, in this tutorial uh, we will learn how you can clip or crop a raster file using a shape file uh, which means here we will be selecting only those pixels that are falling within our shape file and we will be doing the cropping along the borders of the shape file and in this particular demonstration we will be using the surface temperature band from Landsat 8 satellite with a spatial resolution of 30 meters and the particular raster layer we will be using in this tutorial is an average average surface temperature data of uh, between the years 2014 and 2023 uh, for the location Kochi in Kerala, India. So let's begin this tutorial. First of all you need to open your QGIS desktop and then you can start adding these required files first of all first of all i'm going to add the raster layer representing this uh, average surface temperature value and then i'm going to add the shape file of my study area which is kochi i'm done now you can see the raster file and the shape file over the raster so these files uh, you can download these files from the description from the, the links links for downloading these files are provided in the description you can just check it out and download so first of all you can see you don't need to have you you don't need a uh, fill color for your shape file so you have to go to right click on the shape file and go to properties then in the fill section you need to change the color to you don't need any color so keep it nil and click apply and ok so you can see now the outline only the outline is visible there and it is and it is through this outline that we are going to crop our crop this raster layer and after that we will be uh, using a different uh, color lamp for uh, providing a better look to our raster layer it's gray now we will change it to red later first we will do the cropping part and for that you need to go to the raster and go to extraction and clip raster by mask layer so the input layer is going to be our raster file containing the average average temperature values and our mask layer mask layer is, is going to be the shape file and you just click run and then just close it now the clipping process has been completed uh, you need to uncheck these two layers to uh, find the new raster layer which is called clipped so this is it uh, what you can do here is now you need to change the color of this raster layer for that you need you can right click on the clip mask clipped layer and and go to properties then in this symbology you can instead of single band gray you can choose single band pseudo color and the interpolation is going to be linear and one more thing you have to do is uh, here the value and color columns are empty you need to go to discrete then go back to linear now it's there it's been loaded automatically you can see different shades of red representing different values of land surface temperature <coughs> and the label precision you can change if you want so that it decides the number of decimal points you need after the uh, value so i'm going to keep it two so that there will be two decimal points after the <coughs> value so you can after that you don't have to do anything much you can just click apply and okay so this is it you have now cropped the raster layer and you have also changed the color scale and it looks much much better now for example you can zoom in there are some like extreme values here and there you just don't mind it so if you zoom in you can see there are some particular regions having higher temperature than the other and this part of Kochi is the where the city is so you can see compared to outskirts the temperature land surface temperature within the city is very high so that's it thanks for watching and one more thing i'll show you you just go to web uh, quick map services and osm and if you choose osm standard you can see the base map appearing beneath your uh, lens surface temperature layer and if right click on the click clip layer and go to properties and in the transparency if you reduce it and click apply and okay you can now zoom into the 
locations and you can now find the locations where the higher temperature has been recorded so this is it thanks for watching do subscribe i'll be posting more videos